Hey, Ronnie. Hey, Lou. You know, football season coming to a close. Got the big game right around the corner. If you're having a party, the two most important things are beer and food. Yeah. And we're going to share two ideas with you next on Men Are So Smart. So, Ronnie, every year at the Gallagher Compound... Mm -hmm. I throw a huge, huge Super Bowl party. Still waiting for my invite. Um, and it's really funny because I just, I only invite people that I like. <laughs> that explains it. And so it's just me. <laughs> and, oh, and my wife, if she can come in the room if she has food. Okay. But if she doesn't have food, then I don't want her in there. Because no what sense. would be the point be? Well, no sense. Okay, so right. uh, in advance of my big party, there's two things that have come to mind. And number one, a headline, Pizza Hut, which, you know, do you enjoy their pizza? Their pizza's not bad. I agree. It really isn't. You know, and I am a stickler. I, I don't I don't like that Papa John's. I don't like that Papa Murphy's. If it's got a Papa in it, I'm not eating it. Yeah, I'm not that crazy for you. Even long. Domino's is not that bad. Domino's is okay. Pizza Hut is going to deliver beer from hundreds of locations across the United States, and their goal is to have... Uh, a bunch of them in place prior to the big game coming up very shortly. Wow. Well, they just got bumped up by my list. I'm telling you what. Pizza Hut expanding beer delivery by mid-January, which is right about now. Yep. Customers will be able to order beer for delivery at nearly 300 locations across the U.S., including restaurants in uh, Florida, <laughs> Iowa, Nebraska, North Carolina, and Ohio. The chain announced this last Monday. By this summer, Pizza Hut plans to offer beer delivery at 1,000 locations. I did not hear California in there. Not in there. Hmm. Pizza Hut, Pizza Hut is pushing beer delivery leading up to Super Bowl LIII uh, in early February. The Super Bowl is one of the biggest business days of the year at the chain. In February 2018, Pizza Hut announced it had signed a multi-year agreement to be the NFL's official pizza sponsor. That was pretty controversial. One day after Papa John yeah. says it had ended its NFL sponsorship deal. Yeah, I don't know if it was Papa John's that was ending that, honestly. I think it was the other way around. I know that they've been down the past few years, but if you look at NFL games, they continue to be the highest rated programming in television today. Uh, and there's nothing that's suggesting that's going to change. Pizza Hut has struggled to grow same-store sales in the U.S. in recent years, so the chain is hoping that the beer and pizza combination can help the chain catch up. Um, I mean, you know what? It kind of makes sense. Uh, I think you're sitting at a pizza at a Super Bowl party somewhere, and the food starts to run a little bit thin, mm -hmm. or the beer starts Especially to run a little bit beer. thin. Uh, make one call, get pizza and beer delivered. That seems like a genius marketing plan well you know what are what would the complications be ronnie from a legal side the age yeah well i think obviously yeah, your simple your delivery person i think is going to be have have to be over 21 years old oh that's true and going to have to check id of the person at the door right so i could see this would be wildly popular at college dorm rooms yeah so. you'd be wildly popular if you were the 21 year old <laughs> yes yeah <laughs> so I see some issues with it, but uh, I don't really. I can. I think that they'll. You're not probably, drinking and driving. True, that's true. Uh, so, I mean, that may be a bonus to the whole thing. Honestly, I went to a party once. <laughs> How I got invited to this party, I'll never know. But let's just say there was no alcohol out. <laughs> Oh, dang. Yeah, and I'm mm. thinking, why am I even here? And and why would you call this a party? Yeah. You know, so, well, imagine that. It's more like a wake. Yeah. Oh, it's your house is so lovely, Shirley. Oh, this living room is beautiful. Hang on a second. Um, yeah, could I get a large pepperoni sausage and yeah. about 24 freaking beers? Yeah. I'm going to need them. Yeah, that'll work. Yeah. Yeah. That, and it, it's like a party through your phone. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so if you're having a party for the big game and that's right around the corner, I got another idea for oh, you. Oh, this one is good Check too. Check this out. Yep. Are you a person 
Who likes pasta? Yes. Cheese? Yes. Things with wildly long shelf lives? Yes. Or joy? All of the above. Good news, Ronald. Yeah. Costco came up with a way to combine all of the above into one glorious, gigantic, huge, 27-pound bucket of mac and cheese. Woo! It has a 20-year shelf life and holds 180 servings of the stuff. Wow, Ron. Uh, it checks all the check boxes on my list. Yep, right. The the Mondo back bucket has actually been around for a couple of years, but because this is the internet and we wanted to bring you this as soon as we became aware of it. That's us. Yep. Uh, we're telling you now. What's really important is that this thing is available for delivery and can be at your door in five to seven days if you order it through <laughs> Costco.com. Also, the whole thing costs a mere $89.99 which is about two bucks per serving. So let's see. The store doesn't straight up give you examples of what you need, something <laughs> like this for, but we can think of a few right off the top of our heads. Super Bowl. Uh, award show party, book club, Super Sunday, Bowl. family reunions. Mm, anything involving The Voice. Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah, watch The Voice. Yeah. Okay, fine. So you want to know what you're actually committing to before you buy 27 pounds of something? We get it. Rest assured, this six-gallon vat, <laughs> that's what I want with my macaroni and cheese. I want it in a vat. I want a vat. It comes to you exactly as advertised, filled to the brim with elbow pasta, my favorite kind, yeah. and cheddar cheese sauce. And while the two ingredients come packaged separately, oh. Oh, Wow. Huh, let's think about that for a second. Huh. It comes separate. Hmm. Costco, Costco says the end result looks like this, and here's a picture, but multiplied by 180. That's just one serving size there. For, uh, for me, anyway. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so they have uh, online, they have customer reviews, and one customer said, it really does turn out that way, like in the picture. Uh -huh. Honestly, I was expecting something that tasted horrible, the commenter wrote. I was surprised to find out it was very good. Yeah, I oh. bet it, I bet it is. <coughs> it's hard to screw it up. Uh, it kind of is. You know, you kind of you can make it better in a lot of different ways by adding extra cheese or. Yes. You know what I really like in my mac cheese bacon? Oh, that's the best. That is the best. You know, mm. we actually we did a sampling. Uh, we call it grazing when we go to Costco or yeah. Sam's Club, mm. and they did have macaroni and cheese. I think they called it loaded mac and cheese or something. That's probably what this is. And it was, it did have bacon in it, and it had chunks of cheese also, chunks of mm. hardened cheese. It was really, really good. Well, there you go, Ronnie. You got yourself a pizza delivery that comes with beer. <laughs> yep. And, and as if the pizza weren't enough, 27 pounds of macaroni and cheese. That's enough for a party of three or four people right there. I would say that's enough for my son-in-law. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's going to be a great party. And you know what the best part is of what? all this? What? After you eat all that macaroni yeah. and cheese, you got yourself a car wash bucket. Oh, that's right. That's yep. right. Or just wash your car with the mac cheese. <laughs> Good. Yeah. <laughs> all right. I uh, hope you enjoyed the show. Big game uh, coming up. I know if you live on the West Coast... Uh, you know, you, you got your Rams going for you there, but yeah. uh, as far as the 49ers and the Raiders, done. I'd rather have the macaroni and cheese, please. Man, bad season for both them. Leave us a comment if you'd like. Uh, you can do that below. If you enjoyed this program, I know I did. It made me hungry. Yeah, my tummy's growling. Give it a thumbs up, okay? And if you uh, haven't already done so, subscribe to our channel. And when you do, click the bell. It gives you notifications each time a new show comes out. Easy enough. All right. Uh, Simple thank enough you. a caveman could do it. Oh, oh caveman. That's a different commercial. Yeah. Yeah. I love that caveman commercial where he's walking on the uh, walker in the, in the uh, airport. Airport, thing. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <You're> right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm Lou Gallagher. I'm Corvette Ronnie. And yes, I do have hair. There it is. I know you don't want to see it. We'll see you on the next Men Are So Smart. Bye-bye. Adios.